Greetings from the eerie coast. This is Mad Shad. What's up, man? Good to be back. Good to be back. Yes. So uh, yeah, I had a little issue with my phone. Uh, well, it wasn't my phone. It was my friend's phone, my boss's phone. Uh, but it's all fixed now. I have a phone, and uh, I'm going to start getting back on YouTube and. I'm going to try to look into Odyssey and BitChute, or Odyssey and Rumble as well. Uh, Odyssey, I'm known as Mad Shad. Rumble as Shad Mad. There's another Mad Shad, I'm sure. But, so, yeah. Uh, so, yeah, I've got to... I've got to upgrade. I've got to upgrade, let's just say that. And more upgrades to come later on in the future. Uh, so, yeah. Um, I'm back. I'm back, folks. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm still, I'm still having issues with uh, uh, getting all my contacts. So, so everybody out there, if, if you know, uh, you can email me, uh, and and we can correspond and catch up that way. Uh, obviously, I've got a new phone number and all that stuff, and my email and all that. Obviously, Google is Google, so the email is is still the same. Uh, ShadTurner5 at gmail.com links in the description uh, so yeah whatever uh, there it is um, uh, in the meantime it's been very frustrating uh, so I've got archival footage uh, that I've I've been doing you know just commenting on the crazy mad mad world it is out there right uh, so uh, I didn't you know in the meantime I'm it's business as usual here working hard uh, you know, doing well, making money, uh, doing my thing. So, uh, it's a slow process. It's just, uh, wow, this phone is absolutely amazing. I wanted to get the Samsung, uh, the new one with the hundred times zoom. Uh, but they just, they didn't have it in stock. They, they, they had the second version and I wasn't willing to pay a bunch of money. Uh, I want that, yeah, the Samsung. They, they wanted a lot of money up front for the okay version. I want the one with the 256 uh, 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 memory. Uh, but my plan is to later on buy it from Samsung uh, and finance it, buy it and finance it from Samsung, Samsung. Uh, and then it's my phone. This phone, I'm going to be paying for it for, what, two years? Yeah. So, it's okay. It's, it's reasonable. Everything comes out and, you know, uh, in your bill. So, anyway. Anyway, I digress on that. It was relatively easy, uh, to, to do that. So, um, <clears throat> I'll be sending the old phone off. Uh, luckily... Unfortunately, let's just say unfortunately and luckily, unfortunately, I can't get my contacts back. It, it didn't back up in the cloud or something. I don't know. I can't. I haven't. I haven't played with it. I'm gonna probably play with it this weekend if I'm. I'm probably working too. Yeah, I've been working weekends too. Uh, but hey, whatever. Uh, so, but me and my. You know, I told you I was a brilliant, most brilliant idiot you ever met in your life. Well, I wrote them down somewhere. Yes. I wrote them down. So, uh, you know, going through that, going going and finding those uh, contacts and putting them in this phone uh, and then making it, making it go from there. Um, so, but for now, uh, everything's good to go. I tell you the truth, I really don't know how long that I can I can upload a video for. Uh, how long I can record, but anyway, uh, we're gonna go with that. Um, yeah, uh, so that's where I've been. Uh, I do apologize if you guys have been you know, worrying about me or whatever, wondering where the hell I was. Yeah, you know, I, I didn't quit or anything. I just you know, had had phone issues. My my screen literally went black, and uh, even though it was still on. I, I couldn't I couldn't access the phone you know at all it, it, it would 
off and on. I, I it, it would like during the day it, it was weird if I put my phone in my car in the warm car and I pulled it out after a couple of hours or so and then the screen would activate for about five minutes and so there's 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 I was able to make some you know check one email respond to one email respond to one text uh, so uh, and people were calling me and I couldn't answer my phone but oddly enough my mom calls and I'm able to swipe and answer the phone and I talked to my mom for a while so that was good uh, very interesting that she was the only one I was able to talk to you know out of everybody else that called me uh, so <laughs> but uh yeah craziness right it's a lot of craziness going on uh, here in Cleveland's business as usual um, just you know Nothing, nothing really going on. Just uh, enjoying the 80 degree weather here. Uh, going on walks with charity, getting shit done, getting some preps, uh, you know, short up here and there. Uh, you know, I think I'm good on coffee. I, I, I've got like, oh my God, like, those are one. Like, I got like 50 something pounds, 50 plus pounds of coffee. That might last me a week. Charity, what are you doing? You're shaking the table. <laughs> but uh, all is well. Uh, you know, stock up on your food. Beans, bullets, and band-aids, right? Uh, yeah. So, and uh, and your vitamins. I've been. I, I, that's that's one of the things I'm I'm trying to get into. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and plug them. Criticalhealthnews.com. You guys want the good stuff? That's the good stuff. Uh, Dr. Joel Wallach. Uh, you know, it, that, that he changed my life. He absolutely changed, changed my life. I was going downhill years ago. This was maybe five, six years ago. Going downhill fast. Uh, and checked him out. Uh, and learned the 10 bad foods and the, uh, and the good foods. And, and his products, I, I tried his, uh, his Beyond Tangy Tangerine. Uh, it's got 90 plus uh, vitamins and minerals that your body needs. And uh, it's it's literally it's taken me to to new heights in my in my health, uh, and I and I drink and smoke. Uh, <laughs> sometimes on occasion I'll I'm, I'm, I've been gluten free for a while, but sometimes I backslide and enjoy some bread or, or something like that. But you know, hey, it's, it's bread. Uh, <laughs> but uh, yeah. Uh, you know, maybe a pizza or you know a sandwich. I got some really good sandwiches here. Really good delis here. Oh, great food here. Let me tell you, great food. But yeah, all is well. Uh, I'm still here. Uh, just just doing my thing. Um, hanging out. I I don't know how this uh, how this audio is gonna do. Um, but I. It's supposed to be. It's not the phone I wanted, but it's the phone I've got. Uh, it's pretty good. It's definite upgrade from my old phone. I had an A10e. This is what is this thing? Uh, I don't know. Uh, yeah, probably shouldn't tell you anyway. Uh, so it doesn't matter. Uh, the one I want was the new the Samsung thing, but uh, you know they wanted like five six hundred dollars. You know for one hundred twenty eight. Uh, thing of memory, and I want the 256 memory, which is only 50 bucks more. Uh, but you can buy it from Samsung themselves and finance it. It's like 16 bucks a month for like three years, four years, something like that. Whatever, whatever the thing. And it's your phone; you can take it anywhere. Uh, so that's my kind. That's kind of like my plan. Uh, you can't see it, but I have I have this board, this this whiteboard here, and then there's another whiteboard. And if I was to pan up, you would see all my to-do list and wish list and, and, and all this information and, you know, stuff, these things I'm working on. And uh, so <laughs> uh, and, and it involves beans, bullets, and band-aids. Uh, so, you know, 
But uh, let's 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 hope that uh, and this is the Afghanistan thing, right? Uh, it's terrible, absolutely terrible. Failure, major failure, major failure. Uh, I've touched on it briefly in in my archival full. No, I've went in depth uh, in my archival footage. Uh, we we've had a plan to get those people out of there for a long time, and for this to. This is a failure in high management. When somebody reneges on a deal, you punish them. There's an agreement. There was an agreement between, between the, uh, the Biden uh, administration and uh, the Taliban. Yes, the Taliban. Well, actually, it goes back all the way back to Trump and, you know, the Trump deal uh, with the Taliban. And basically, he held them to the fire, held their feet to the fire and said, look, you know, don't don't fuck up on this deal and they did and you know obviously he bombed the shit out of them <laughs> from what i understand there you know because of trump there has not been a death a combat related death that we know of since 2020 you know march 2020 i think anyway uh, that all changed in in less than less than a, a few days right so the Taliban the Taliban and, and I seen where pinball preparedness uh, I've been I've been messing around a little bit online uh, on, on the YouTube ooh, ooh, YouTube and uh, yeah I, I really truly believe something like that that's I, I touch a lot of that in, in my in my past videos of these these groups you know we're a very very diverse country so in, in in every group has their own agenda so you know having having said that you know it's it's there 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 could be a lot of taliban related uh instances where these 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 groups would go just take over an area a whole area and you know you you could be you could be in in you know like this i i have no idea i i know i know a few groups uh in the area that that are uh suspect uh and i'm watching and and you know um uh, one of them being muslim uh there is there is a a muslim footprint here but you know as far as them as far as them establishing Sharia law and all that crap, oh hell no, I mean that ain't gonna work. You know this, the, cause there, there's a lot of conservative, red-blooded Americans around here uh, that are still trumping. You know, there's still Trump signs. There's still, I mean, it's it's you know, these these people speak their mind around here. They let you know real quick. Uh, so. Uh, you know, it's good to see that. It's good to see that uh, that the people actually run the place, not not the not the idiots in charge. You know, um, so it's good to know. You know. There's a lot of businesses that that do their thing, a lot of bars and, and restaurants that do their thing, and a lot of other. Uh, there's there's a lot of a lot of uh, you know service businesses and, and, and things like that. You know that they've been they 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 locked down here, but they step, they just kept going. They're like, screw you, we're not doing anything. You know, no. Uh, so I'm gonna leave it at that. Uh, business as usual around here, but something to think about. You know, something to think about, man. To, I would hate to be in that position, uh, you know, in, in Kabul. Um, I was in something similar to that, but uh, uh, we were actually getting people out uh, at the time in Africa. So in our, our back was to the ocean, which that's where our ships were. That's where our boats were, our planes, uh, helicopters and everything. So we were in full full scale evac. We got like, what, uh, 
if you look it up, it says like 2,500. It, it, it varies. It varies. We got, but it was like 7,000 people that we got out of, out of that free town, uh, Sierra Leone. Uh, so, and we were completely surrounded, <laughs> completely by millions of, we, we were right in the middle of a hornet's nest. Uh, but everything went good, uh, fairly good. Um, and we got everybody out of there. Uh, so, and they were four nationals. There were there were people working, and uh, you know some, even the army. The army were there with the ambassador. Uh, so, the ambassador and his family had, had they had lived there for years, and we we, you know, we, we got them out of there. Uh, but I mean this this Kabul thing, this this Afghanistan thing is major. Eighty five thousand people. I mean it's it's crazy. The, the numbers I'm listening. And you think about it, we've been there for a long time, so all these contractors and, and, and everything and and so that's 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 one of the that's one of the concerns I had, you know, and, and talked to a lot of contractor friends is that you know, that, that was their goal was to get in, get out. You know, because it's it's dangerous. It's dangerous over there. So uh and, and having an out, keeping an out, uh, you know, so um you know, I, nope, not gonna say. So uh, yeah, got some friends over there, and and, and uh, they're they're doing okay. They're doing okay, uh, but there's a lot of people that are not doing okay, uh, and and we all know what what the Taliban is capable of, and what they're going to do, and what they're going to show everyone. They're going to show the world, uh, and I'm gonna say this. You don't just leave equipment behind. You just don't. I mean, uh, what they did is they bugged out. Those those bases, the secret bases, and, you know, oh, there's a secret base? Yeah, there's secret bases. But, uh, you know, the secret bases and, 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 uh, uh, and of course, the, the big one in Kabul and, 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 all, and all the other places that I don't, you know, I vaguely know, uh, you know, uh, it was just a bug out. Like the military just said, "Up, oh, let's go. Grab your bag and go." What about the tank, sir? What about the Al Apaches? What What about the the helicopters? What? No, just leave them. Grab your tanks, or no, don't grab the tanks. Don't grab the helicopters. Don't grab. Don't grab the weapons. Don't grab the ammunition or the food. Grab your bag and get on the plane. Or get on. Don't grab the Hummers. No, we're not taking Hummers. They've got Hummers. They've got. I don't know if they're attack helicopters. I don't. I don't know. I, I think they're like Hueys and, and Chinooks. Uh, but they got a bunch of Hummers. They got a bunch of tanks. They got. A, they got. Our tank is badass. Uh, they now have it. Uh, they got a few of them. Uh, I don't know what the numbers are, but. Radical fundamentalists like the Taliban with all that gear. They are now one of the most uh, heavily armed uh, extremist groups in the Middle East. They're a major threat. They're a force to be reckoned with now. Now, yes, granted, they're idiots, but they'll figure out a way to, to work that stuff. Or the Chinese or Russians will show them. Or... The Chinese and Russians will take them. <laughs> That's another one, too. All that stuff. Everything they can grab and carry, they're going to grab and carry. You know, it, it, all, the, all, all the ammunition, all the food, all the comms gear. Man, oh my God. So, that is a big problem. You don't just leave things behind like that. Unless you want to. So, anyway, that's just my uh, my 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 thoughts on that. Anyway, uh, yeah, I'm gonna leave it at that. This is Mad Shad saying, "Hey, I'm back, y'all. Uh, <laughs> I'm back. I'm, I'm still here, and I'm gonna start, you know, continually be pumping out videos 
on the regular. Uh, and so, I'm just encouraging you guys all to get ready. Get, continue to train, continue to prep, and keep an out. Work on your out. A, a good, viable, solid out. Get to know the groups in your area. The uh, the powers that be. And I'm not talking about, you know, police and military. Yeah, sure, those guys, but, you know, we're not, we're not worried about that. Uh, that's that's later on down the road we know that uh but you know your 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 gangs and your your groups and your whatever you know uh, even if you got like a large ethnic group uh you know check them out they might be organized chances are i've noticed that here that there's a lot of organization going on uh but anyway uh i digress on that uh Continue to train, continue to prep, because we all know it's a madman.